It's interesting, you know, where we've been spending a lot of our time is really on the data piece, right? Um, data, data, data. Um, so much data, what are you doing with it? You know, what's important data? How do you filter what's really valuable? And as part of that, it's requiring us to rethink talent um, in, a, in a different way. So it, it seems odd to think about that someone who's just a digital generalist um, isn't what we really need. We really need people who are leaning heavier into data strategy. We're even looking at our existing talent and looking at ways to train them. So not only are we trying to change and train people who maybe have leaned very traditional, we're also having to rethink and retrain even our digital staff to lean a little bit heavier and lean a little differently in terms of things that are less tangible media planning and buying. We might have originally looked at other agencies um, for the talent, we still do, um, but we're looking at different skill sets. So people who have actually worked on the programmatic team as someone we, you know, who would usually be in a very siloed type of role. And we're actually looking to bring that type of talent into kind of the general digital planning and buying. More and more of our clients are interested in understanding how they can leverage who their existing clients are. I think, you know, if you just go back to general marketing, the idea that your most valuable customers are your existing customers. And the more you can leverage those and learn from it, um, the better return on investment you're going to get, right? So how are you actually mining your existing customers? Um, one, using them as a foundation to find new customers, but also using them as a way to increase or increase basket size, right? They're your most valuable customer, or they have the longest or lifetime value. And, um, and generally speaking, if you can get them to spend more, use your card more, buy more, um, you know, they're going to be your biggest advocates. So a lot of that is really understanding you know, who the customers are and how we can just better use them and understand them to help grow the business. Thoughtful, smart media planning, media strategy still requires some risk taking, some thinking outside the box. Uh, we like it to be grounded in some sort of information, data points um, but, you know, as, a, as a starting point, um, but certainly that idea of 70% what you know, 20% kind of new, and 10% really, you know, trying something different. Um, you know, not too risky for some clients, but certainly thinking outside the box a bit. Um, you know, and that's going to vary from client to client in terms of what their risk tolerance is, but we do try to think that way. Um, you know, and that 10% it is one in ten, if you're lucky, that you're actually doing something different. Our clients who are more forward thinking are okay with us failing forward. Um, and I think that that's really important. Not every client is, um, but the ones that do really help pave the way for other clients. There has been a time where we thought of video as one giant bucket. And I think what we're trying to do is take a step back and think about um, video by platform. People are watching more TV than ever, they're just not watching it the same way. Right? And, and you know, how do we take advantage of that time in front of the big screen right? um, and not equate any video to be the same value? Uh, I think that for maybe some of the younger generation that really heavily watch phone, you know, um, video on their phone or on their tablet or alternatively, you know, you, start to, you need to figure out what that value exchange is from what a linear TV experience would have been um, in terms of value and driving foot traffic or whatever your KPI is. Um, to what does that translate to a mobile video experience. Many of the great programs that we have going on at Horizon were you know, employee driven, employee created. And you know, whether it's Bill Konigsberg, our owner, founder, leader, he's always been very supportive of, of having people come up with ideas and opportunities and solves for problem. You know, instead of saying like this is what the problem is, you know, show me a solution. And, and that's really baked into the culture at Horizon.